What's good, my people? We're back again for another one on this other one and only Mr. Lix Reaction Channel, guys. Big up yourself, and of course, round of applause goes out to each and every one of you guys who tune into yet another vibrations here on the one and only Mr. Lix Reacts channel guys big up yourself one time of course we're gonna be reacting to back again with the parliament vibrations and of course you can see ian douglas is being featured here today brothers and sisters and we're gonna find out some of the things that he has to say right there and then in this vibes this is not the the real clip i want to talk about i want to talk about something else but i'm gonna make a reference to this very clipping that you've seen right there guys so let us take a listen to this Hold on, let me make sure I put up my volume. My volumes have to go crazy, man. Let the volumes go crazy. Hold on, people. Let me make sure I put that up. Okay, let's go back. And in beginning my presentation, Mr. Speaker, I wanted to make it abundantly clear that this Roosevelt Skerrit led Labour Party administration, Mr. Speaker, has to go down as the best regime when it comes to the improvement of healthcare in Dominica's history, Mr. Speaker. In Dominica's history, Mr. Boy, does he know what it was back, like back then? No, I wasn't born back then, brothers and sisters. I was born in between the back then and now. <laughs> But I know for sure, based on what the individuals back in the day used to say, they said that individuals from overseas, mark you, overseas, used to come into Dominica for what? Medical attention. Now, if this is the best thing ever, let me go on Ian face. If this has been the best thing in the history of Dominica, Marquesa, then there is a problem here of what actually happened back in the day. Remember the amount of surgeries that people used to have back in the day in Dominica that they now have to be flown overseas to have surgeries, brothers and sisters? Remember all these things? Now, some people like to say I'm talking about one side and all those kind of things. This is, am I, what am I saying? Is it false? It's not false. So if in the history of Dominica, this is the best medical attention that Dominica has received, even though back in the day when people received the best medical attention compared to now, then I will be confused as to what exactly history or whose history are you referring to? Because some people have their history, you have your history, I have my history, and then you have his story. Okay, brothers and sisters, so we need to figure out what exactly is Ian Douglas talking about when it comes down to having the best medical attention in the history of Dominica. Cook me if I'm wrong. The old heads who like to watch my videos. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. Put it down in the comment box below. History, Mr. Speaker. In Dominica's history, Mr. Rather Speaker. interesting. And Mr. Speaker, as I speak about history, Mr. Speaker, it is the United Workers' Party when they were in government who implemented the user fees, Mr. Speaker, on the backs of the Dominican people. Let us remember that, you know, I didn't intend to speak, you know, Mr. Speaker. No, when you talk about user fees and this kind of things there, I remember back in the day, 19, 1995, 2000 to 2000, I remember we used to get free health care. I don't know about user fees. Maybe what he's saying is correct. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong about these user fees that he's talking about. But let's say user fees were implied. How is present now that people then have to seek me medical attention overseas because there's not much attention in Dominica to do... People having operations here, I'm not saying all the operations go so well, but there was a guy who actually went to have an operation on his hand and he bled to death. He bled to death, an operation on his hand, and he bled to death. So when you're talking about the best and this kind of things, we, we, we have to weigh this in, into context, brothers and sisters. You have to wait to context. So if they talk about user fees and this kind of things there, if back in the day, obviously, you know, things are not free in the country, if that actually happens, obviously some people have to pay certain fees or whatever for medical attention based off what, whatever medical attention that is. But you guys can definitely understand that, okay, the best of the best though, if you're referring to that, the best, that is the best is used on the user fees being imposed. That is the best of the best. Now, if you're talking about medical attention that people getting for free, more people getting stuff for free, then sure. But best of the best, though, we have to be mindful of that. You want to tell me that no medical attention was better than back in the day? No, you're not telling me that. You, not, not, not me. Because Somebody else, not me. Our record of improvement. 
improvement or our record of improvement of health care in this country is clear. How it can be improvement when people back in the day used to fly into Dominica for medical attention? No. Remember, he's talking about history, you know, guys. Keep in mind. History. Okay? History that day. Okay. People used back in the day used to fly into Dominica for medical attention. No, people have to fly out. So how is that the best, my boy? What can I... What can, let's continue. Mr. Speaker, at a time when we are seeing unprecedented development. Development in what exactly? The infrastructural development, sure. We are bigger hospitals than was back in the day. Is the service being offered better than what is being offered was offered back then? I mean, we've heard about different people who had specialized in things that the government refused to put back into um, 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 positions. These people were the only set of people on island who could do these special, these special things. These special, and, and they refused to, when the people start making noise about them, they, they, they put them up. <laughs> boy, tell you boy. In the healthcare sector, the brilliant minister of health is coming here with a bill that everyone in Dominica and every representative in here of the people should support. He heard the sad lamentations of... Who is the person that, that, that made that video now? Because the video does skip, you know. Maybe they checking in and talking too much. <laughs> okay, guys, my camera just ran out of space, man. Out of space, brothers and sisters. Anyways, let's continue. I think I, I skipped a little bit. Let, 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 let us go back, man. <laughs> let's continue right there. He heard the sad lamentations of the minister, of the member for the Salisbury constituency. And really, I mean, what he said and nothing, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> on, on an important piece of legislation like that. Ian, you're not telling me you're talking about people saying things and what they say versus nothing is actually the same. You, you're not saying that, Ian. You come from Postmouth, we know you don't normally talk. Look at Postmouth. Postmouth is probably one of the worst places in Dominica right now. Ross was sustaining Postmouth and Dominica. You as the parliamentary representative who told the very people in Postmouth, hey guys, bail back things. Ross is coming back. People this side is scrambling, trying to take all kinds of loans to bail back things. And these people today, <laughs> Ian, you're not talking about saying things and saying nothing. You're the king of saying something and that means absolutely nothing, Mr. Ian. You know that. You know that. You know me. You know me when you see me wailing each other. But bro, you just talk noth nothing. You not even nonsense. You talking nothing. You talking all what you saying. They talk about history. Nothing you talking about as minister of Postmouth Parliament, by parliamentary representative for Postmouth. What you just do for Postmouth, Mister Ian? What you doing for Postmouth? I seen people walking up and down in the buoy. They don't know what to do. Ask any child if you take a line. Ask any child what they want to become in in, in, in Dominica. I've been asking the youths, where do they see themselves going in Postmouth? They are saying they're trying to get the money from the government for them to leave. Mr. Ian Douglas, and you're talking about nothing? You're talking about somebody else making a point, and that is nothing. You are the king of saying something that is absolutely nothing. You know this? You know this, my brother. Anyways, continue. Mr. Speaker, an important piece of legislation, Mr. Speaker, when the, the China friendship hospital development is in its what is in its fourth phase of transformation mr speaker <laughs> mr Spe so what bro you have a building a nice big building yes congratulations for the big building so what we're not saying that the building not supposed to go let's bring the building but what does the big, big big building do when you still have to fly people out of the country for medical attention? Is that the building that is the thing, you know, is the services being offered? I remember the Prime Minister was talking about some high for he for some kind of thing. What it does, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Has the high for he for ever been used, the brothers and sisters? <laughs> because we have trained more local specialists than anywhere else. I have to clarify that because I know people were making noise about specialists not being in Dominica. Especially the specialists that were there that they didn't want to renew. I mean, people were making noise about that. I was part of the protest thing they had with the nurses, you know, and all those kind of situations. And they told me some of the situations and um, things that people, the, the, the medical attention is needed in certain fields that was not present in Dominica. 
So if they have it there, then great. But I need to clarify that I don't trust not Mr. Them, I don't trust the old, whatever they say. If Mr. say you wear a jacket, I have to see. I have to see. I don't can believe you wear a jacket. In the sub-region, not only in Dominica. On what? In the sub-region? Yes, in the sub Region, not only in oh, you maybe say maybe the Dominicans probably went overseas and trained, became specialists, and become I'm um, specialists in other countries. That is probably what he's talking about. <laughs> so I agree, there are people who left Dominica, probably on government scholarships, got trained in the medical field or whatever. There's a girl I know who just graduated in 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 um and um China. She's a doctor now. And she doesn't want to come back to Dominica. So maybe that is what he's talking about right there. Almost every, and I subject to correction, almost every specialist, health specialist, Mr. Speaker, at the China Friendship Hospital today was trained by this ruthless, scary, led Dominica Labour Party. That is where we have to be, Mr. Speaker. People who go to the hospital, guys, let me know that in the comment box, but I cannot clarify. This is a reaction. I don't really do much research for the reactions. But let me know your thoughts, man. Because the reactions are just my thoughts on what people are saying. You check? That's, that's all it is. The vlogs are a bit different. I go a bit deeper in the vlogs. But, you know, the reactions are just my thoughts. What are your thoughts on what you just said a while ago, guys? Speaker, that is where we have to be. And I always remember the Prime Minister recalling, recounting that it was on one of his uh, on one of his house to house visits i believe in the kalinago territory and he was speaking to um an alien kalinago brother i believe uh, an aged kalinago brother who was telling him that they could hardly afford the user fee at the hospital and he although he was sick he was afraid to go back to the hospital because they couldn't pay the bills what do you think that is? Let's let's talk. What do you think that is? Let's say the user visa are actually there. They are out there and yes, oh my god, it's hard to pay these fees. What led to you not being able to pay these fees? Isn't that based on the economy? Who is in charge of the economy? Not the very prime minister. So you're trying to give props to somebody who decides to give you medical attention for free while at the same time they are the one responsible for keeping you down and not having the responsibility of them, of you making your own arm. Um, 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 uh, ability to pay fees is it isn't is it am i am i <laughs> guys my camera just messed up a while ago you are the one who is responsible for the economy you are depleting the people of getting jobs and all kinds of things how many hundreds the hundreds of uh, 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 maybe a hundred in the hundreds i'm certain because of the amount of lease i remember in the yellow paper i think it had a, almost close to a hundred jobs and plus more have been leaving the biggest of them all that was not on the paper was ross university Contributing to a large factor of the population. They had foreign exchange coming into Dominica. The economy is what is preventing people from making money. Yet still, you focus on the basis of a man not being able to afford medical attention. Because of what you did to the economy. And then you affording him that free medical attention. Then that person is just supposed to be happy. Hey, thank you so much. I couldn't afford it. But they're not looking at the root of why the man could not afford it. Because the very prime ministers them are destroying the economy, taking away jobs from, from people. It might not be their personal doing, but they are the ones running the economy and thus it affects the economy in that way. Therefore, you are equally responsible for doing that very thing to the man by, not, by him not being able to pay for the use of his. Back in the day, people used to buy their house cash, you know. Bring how much? Hundreds of thousands of dollars and cash in the bank. You think people can do that this day? You think people can do that? Look at the state of the... Uh, uh, anyways, that's another topic. <laughs> well, let me go back to this thing right there. Mr. Speaker, we have pregnant mothers, Mr. Speaker, who are afraid to go to have their babies at the hospital. You remember when pregnant mothers used to actually have their babies in Portsmouth? I remember seeing that as a little boy. Not even in the, not in the hospital, in the health center where the fire, fire truck is. I remember mothers used to be there. <laughs> Boy. Hey. Mr. Speaker, in the latter part of, of the 1990s, 97, 98, because six... Who that, who that doing that now? And wellness centers. We have nine going and there are more to come, Mr. Speaker. And we have nine health um, um, wellness centers or health whatever. The Marigold Hospital took how long to build, guys? How long?
the main hospital people. <laughs> boy, sometimes Ian does us talk here, and I have to just shake my head, boy. Ian, boy, you just get. And guys, the thing is, I was trying to look for, for, for what he's saying, you know, to see what makes sense out of the nonsense that he's saying, the absolute nothingness that he says. Right? I, I just, Ella, I just tried to give him the, 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 the I just tried to give him the, 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 um, the, 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 what, what is, what is it, what are you looking for? I was try to give him the, 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 why can't it now? Why is that Why is that name again? <laughs> why is that name again? I just think of it would be. Um, shit. Um, why is that name again? Uh, Johnny Lea. <laughs> Me that's Johnny Lea, man. But I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, of what he's saying to make some sense with it. But I mean, come on. <laughs> Three more to come. That is where we should be going with this debate on this, Mr. Speaker, Dr. Speaker, Hospitals Authority. We are putting the system in place for the better management Mr. Speaker, of the Dominica China Friendship Hospital because this hospital is a state-of-the-art hospital. The hospital looks nice. It looks nice. No doubt about it. I, nobody's denying the hospital doesn't look nice. But when people still have to be flown overseas for them to get medical attention, I don't think the state-of-the-art you're talking about. Now, you like the building structure, not through this building structure you like to see. All right, all right then. I remember again the same opposition when the Prime Minister mentioned a piece of equipment called the Haifu. Me, the Haifu. <laughs> I just mentioned that they were like, oh, you know, the Haifu. Okay. They say it's food, the Prime Minister of food. It's not the Haifu he's talking about. But, and lo and behold, and lo and behold, the same opposition is seeing, Mr. Speaker, that this piece of equipment is in fact implemented in the China Friendship Hospital to <laughs> I think it's, I think you can say it has been used to help the people, but you're talking about being implemented in, into the hospital. However, that same haifu, hifu thing he's talking about there, they also try to boast as if it is the only, I think it was the second one in the Caribbean they were talking about. But then if you look at the research of the Haifu equipment, people, the people, the other bigger hospitals and the brand hospitals, they don't want to use this equipment. They don't want to use this equipment and he's boasting about this very thing as if other hospitals couldn't afford it. We have a Haifu Haifu thing that, what is, being, what is it being used in Dominica for? I don't know. Help me out there, brothers and sisters. What is it, what, what, what is it being used for in Dominica, brothers and sisters? For what reason? Can any one of you guys tell me? Because I don't know. I really and honestly true, truly don't know. Right? We know what extra is used for. We know what the other things tend to use to. What is the Hifu Haifu thing for? Huh? Because I cannot understand Mr. E and Hifu. He want to talk about the equine is being placed inside there. Okay. We can take a, a, a rocket and put in the hospital too. You know, if we're not using the, ro the rocket in the hospital, yes, it's in the hospital. But if we're not using it, we have a rocket in the hospital. You want to boast as if a, a rocket is in the hospital? Well, what are they using the Hifu thing for? No, a Hifu thing in the hospital for me, say? And I... Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on the whole situation, man? I went, I, I thought this was not going to take long for me to do, so I can jump into the other one. But guys, you'll have to come in tomorrow for the other one. <laughs> you have to come in, to, in tomorrow for the other one. I just got some information on the other one that I'm talking about there. Um, uh, I want to talk about. So make sure you guys tune in to another reaction tomorrow, guys. Of course, we're going to be dropping. I think this will be the last one I'm going to be talking about right there. I just, I, I remember seeing Ian. I was like, what is he talking about? So I decided to put him on, on, on the thing for me to, you know, give him a little, a little spotlight, man. Because Ian, Ian need help, man. Ian, you need help. <laughs> Anyways, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Not for Ian, but for the fact that Ian was so brave enough to come and speak nothingness on, in Parliament. And pretend as if his nothingness has some sort of woof. I, I don't know. But guys, let me know your thoughts in your in the comment box below. This is just my thoughts on the whole situation. That is why I tend to ask you for your thoughts as well. Definitely write it down. I want to see what you guys have to say in the comment box below. Now, guys, please don't go too hard on Ian. I know you guys say Ian. <laughs> be be amicable. <laughs> be, be productive, guys. Be be, you know. Be, 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 try to because they just watch my videos some of them well not all of them don't watch my videos when I put them up there <laughs> I don't know when you will see it but you might hear people talking about me talking about it I'm himself from my videos anyways guys give this video a thumbs up um give it a thumbs up for his pink tie give a, I do like pink but give a thumbs up for the pink timer 
Maybe his wife. Congratulate. Give a thumbs up to his wife. Maybe his wife make him play pink tie on man. <laughs> Anyways, guys, give, uh, subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos as they come through by clicking all when you subscribe by clicking the bell, guys, so you can get all the videos as they come through. So, well, Mr. Lix, guys, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.